Uh, wedding cake, gelato, blue sherbs, I'm sparkle From you see me in my shades, I'm high He had some regular weed, some lemon and me or cheese I told him hit one of these and get right Chillin' watching narco, big zoo, I'm sparkle Feet up on a Friday night I get high with my homies, I get high on my lonely Smoke here, I'm on a Friday vibe Birthday, give me wedding cake, yeah, loud, uh Just turned 28, G That's a- Alright guys <laughs> Please stop, this is very serious Alright guys, welcome back to episode 6 of Chuffing Off, where if you didn't just hear me mention, this is going to be so, so serious. The president is... The president! <laughs> I told you, my brain can do U-turns, one minute. Rewind. It just, it just goes off, rewind. Anyways, Boris Johnson is making some announcements apparently later on tonight, is it? Today's Tuesday at 8 p.m. The Prime Minister... The Prime Minister... Will be releasing some sort of speech. I don't really know. What kind of speech is he doing now? Apparently he's fucking... Well, it's quite. we come to you quite serious today, guys, for once, because... So serious. <laughs> because it's actually mad. Like, <laughs> we're going back into stage two of lockdown for no reason. Whatsoever. Like, when you think about it. Do you know why? Why, cuz? Because, cuz. <laughs> Did you see that? I tried to suck Yeah, I tried it. to do that last week. It's a bit of origami, is it called? <laughs> origami. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, basically, um, yeah, it's mad. It's mad because I don't... I don't get it. What's going on? Mate, I, it's because I've went gym and not eaten a thing. Yeah, I've, I've not eaten We've got a special thing. thing to do today. Yes. And I am fucking so intoxicated that I can't think straight. I've got the giggles. I never think straight. So Proceed. What's the difference? Where was I? Something about lockdown. Oh yeah, the lockdown's coming back. Mm-hmm. But I don't think it's got nothing to do with Babbage. With, um, Babbage, yeah. Mate, it's fucked. It's like, got nothing. It's got nothing to do with. I, I don't leave no, us I alone. Don't, I think there's a virus out there. Yeah, I think there's a virus out there. But there's the pandemic is fake. Well, basically, it's listen fake. to this. Actually, media. What you're reading in the media. You know it's fake. Everything's fake, mate. There's something bigger behind what is. Let me get on. this up. No, no, no. You got me on the rant now. Right. Rant, rant. Something is definitely going on. Hundred percent. I don't know what it is. It's, it's something to do with control. And keeping us locked in our houses like chinchillas. <laughs> and then something mental is going to happen. I'm telling you well, now. Basically, do you, know why I think, do you know why I'm just not happy it's with this one? To... The first time I was thinking calling it because I had asthma and I was overweight. Still yeah. getting there a little bit. But So you took it a bit seriously. But here's a fact for Chelmsford. Yeah. Eight cases per 100,000 people in the latest week 11 of September to the 17th of September. The average area in England has 15. Yeah, so we're low. Cases in the la- latest week from the dates I just mentioned, 14. Right. Minus, that's seven, minus seven from the previous week. Yeah. And apparently it's 853 cases to tw- uh, up until the 20th of September. So 152 of them coronavirus related deaths since September. So it's not a lot. But what source is that? What, what source? That's the Jack Lapping Sutton. That's the Jack Lapping source. Yeah, so that's that's, that's a fact. It's a very it's pretty, good fact. Yeah, it's just because Jack Lappin is a brain box. He is. He's a big brain box. But, um, I just see as well, literally come up just before we started recording, that Scotland are banned from visiting other households indoors as from tomorrow, but their schools are staying open. What is the fucking point, Boris? Because nothing's making sense anymore. Literally, nothing Mate, is making any fucked. sense. It's I'm all just confused. Fucked. I don't understand what's going on. One minute, like, just, mate, the country is like a yo-yo, up and down, and up and down, <laughs> and up and down. But now it's just down. The the, the string has snapped. It's fucked. And Apparently the announcement going... tonight is going to consist of curfews, bars, curfews. Restaurants. Am I a dickhead? Am I a convict? Am I a criminal? Mate, 10 o'clock, your pub and restaurant has to close. Mm. Like that's so bad for people's living and people's livelihoods. Like, we're all about support, support, supporting. And people's mental health. People's mental health is very good. We're like talking about that one. But it's one of the ones where people's livelihoods, like, we're all about supporting local. Everything we do and do on this show and everyone that represents us on this show is Chelmsford based because we're all about supporting each other. Mm. We're not big millionaire franchises that can shut their pub for six weeks and still buy a yacht. 
some of the businesses that are around us that do well because of the public and the public being able to associate and socialize with that company, people are not millionaires. People are gonna like start to lose money. They won't be able to afford their stock. People ain't gonna be able to afford to get things delivered because of delivery schedules. Mate, I went to Lidl's last night mm -hmm. for water. Because as you know, my fucking, my new regime, I drink one orange juice for vitamins and I have water, that's all I drink. I went for water, bro, the shelves are empty again. And this is on the 21st of September. Nothing's even been out. There's no toilet roll again. I need to shit. There's no bread. I don't really care because I don't really eat bread no more because I can't because it hurts. It very much hurts. Things are going off the sh People are losing their minds again. For what reason? And then he's going to advise if you can work from home, work from home again, apparently. Yeah, mate, he, they're just... It's a waste of time. What about, um, did you see the protests as well? The what protests? Protest? Uh, protests. In London. In London. Shout out to Kong, doing his thing for the community yeah, there. He, did. he went there. Using his voice. Using his voice, up. rather than just tweeting and reposting about it. We're trying to use our voice here rather than just sharing a post. Went out there and done his thing. Done his thing. But mm -hmm. the protests were mad and it just got violent because of the police. Yeah, granted, for whatever way the police see it, everyone was gathered in a place, but they were protesting to show that we're human beings. Like, obviously, if it's mad, and obviously it's a virus, like back in the day they had the plague and it killed, it's but nothing. it's, it's the 21st century. Control. I'm telling you now, it's all to it's do with mental, control. Mate. It's all to do with control. Did you really think? 100%. 100% it's all to do with control. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that the, I don't, the virus, I mean, personally, I don't I think agree the with virus that. is real. That's I your think opinion. the virus is yeah, 100% yeah, obviously, real. Of course. But the pandemic's not real. The age group as well, the age group of people that died um, in Chelmsford, I don't know where I've seen it. I might have been in the group chat as well, but I don't really want to be sitting, I should have prepared for this. This is why I'm a tobaccoist because I don't function and prepare. That's what I'm saying. But why the age do this mate, before the, the show? People that died, eight of the people that died, Right. Yeah, in them cases. I, I might be wrong, but I believe it's in them cases I just read out. Yeah. Eight of them were over the, over the age of 70. Very sad. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. One of them was between 40, I think it was 40 and 59. And the other one was 70 to 80, the other two. Yeah. So it was the older generation, which is very sad because that's man's papa, man's grandpapa. Yeah. Someone's, do you know what I mean? Someone's brother, someone's dad. It's, 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 not, it's not nice, the deaths, but it's not... Them eight deaths, more people probably die of heart attack and obesity and, and gang violence. But when it's gang violence, what do they do? They, they don't care. When it's, when it's obesity, they don't give a fuck. It's two, four, brother, you can get McDonald's. I can get six burgers and have a stroke and a heart attack for nine pounds. Exactly. Like, there's no it's curfew on McDonald's. McDonald's is 24 hours. I don't hours. care anymore. I'm just going to keep doing These what I'm doing. These deaths are more than the crime. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not, it's it's not, not the fact that we're going to do real. what we're going to do. Yeah, cool. That's the, our attitude. But it does affect us because when we go to the pub, when your missus, when you, when missus texts you at 11 o'clock at night and goes, where are you? You say, I'm at the pub. And she goes, you're a liar because the pub closed at 10. You're guilty. Where am I going to say I am? Exactly. So I have to be home at 10 o'clock. Now you're starting to think outside the box. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but why should I have to go home at 10 o'clock? If I want to get pissed and fucked off my nut Why? In the I don't... It's just like, what? You can't catch COVID after 10 o'clock. <laughs> basically. It, basically, the COVID goes to sleep at 10 o'clock. Yeah, that's what Boris is saying. Until the morning. So basically, as from tomorrow, you've got to be in groups of six. That's already established. That's already happened. You've got to be in at 10 o'clock, yeah? Mm -hmm. So when the coronavirus flies past your you don't have you don't have to be in at ten o'clock. your breath, no, you don't have to be you in at ten o'clock. But yeah. where are you going to be? We're not rats anymore. We're not hood rats anymore. We're not scumbags to be sitting on the side of the street. We're gonna, we're grown men. We're adults. I'm nearly fucking. F Ooh, that scared me a little bit. I'm nearly thirty. G. That so is mad. I. Bless my mum. Shout out to my mum. She's old, man. I'm nearly thirty, bro. So, so where are we going to socialize? That is so disrespectful. Sorry. But where are you going to socialise? Sorry, mum. Sorry, mum. Where are you going to socialise? Um, Think about it. 10 o'clock comes. You're either going to come back to mine. I'm going to go back to yours. There's no more cocktails in London. There's no more being out till two in the morning, eating fucking kebab meat and chips and cold pizza and then running away from taxi drivers. Take a nice walk down Central Park and feed the ducks. And get robbed or stabbed by a nitty. Well, that's why you take Draco with you. <laughs> no, but it's fucked. I don't... What do you guys think? What are you lot going to do? Let us know what mad. you're going to do. My opinion is... What, I'm what chuff and guff? I'm chuffing guff now. Don't do the pointing thing, please. Please don't do it. Oh. 
I'm chuffing off now. Right, basically, I was gonna say this before the show, because I wanted to save you, but I thought I'd let them see it for a good 10 yeah, minutes. I tweet that one. What did you but, say? Mate, I wasn't listening. I was going to tell you before the show because it on. actually fucks you. Go on. But I thought I'd let them see you and tell you, you in front of them. Go on. Your ears are fucked in that hat. They're bent forward like an alien. <laughs> I swear down. Right. Tuck and them I, in. Right. <laughs> Ty, big man ting. I looked at you and I said to you, mate, I look all right, don't I? <laughs> yeah, like, I told you what to say. The hat and that is mad. I'll just take it off anyway. <laughs> The ears are mad. So, what do you think it's going to do, mate? I, I, I'm just going to do my thing. I'm what do you mean, what's gym. your thing? I'm just going to go to the gym. Just carry on doing what. Just carry on doing what you're doing. Obviously, yeah. you have some restrictions. Like, if you want to go on holiday, and you go to the That's airport, the and they travel. say to you, "Listen, yeah, now you can," but if it goes, but I can't be in a pub tomorrow lockdown. past ten o'clock. But I can fly to Ibiza and well, get Bolton. Oh no, because COVID goes to sleep at ten. And doesn't travel the country, apparently. Doesn't travel the country. Not only ours. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make it so confusing. Just like my Even brain. Even with our fucked up chaff and guff way of thinking Just and like my brain. Yeah, if coronavirus was a was a was, was a brain. object, it'd be Adam's. It's just Adam's life in general. It's just fucked. <laughs> I am COVID. <laughs> <laughs> that is, don't do that again, because that was in my yard. That was mad. <laughs> but basically, mate, I can only eat once a day. Right. I've been doing very well. I lost yeah, another half a stone this week. Well. I'm fucking chuffing that for life. He's gone from a truck down to a Mini Cooper. No, no, I'm still a forklift at least. Now you've got to try and get down to the smart car. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking nonsense. Sorry, go on. But it's now currently 3 p.m. and I'm mm. starving. We have mm. got some exciting news. I'm so, so enticed off the tobacco. Let me sit. Man, sit up and we snack with you. Basically, one of my brethren's has got a fish feed company if you like they're called sea and tails origami <laughs> <laughs> origami they're called sea and tails um we're gonna put a link in our bio they're on our page we follow them um they're local based put your orders in where about i've heard from all my friends i haven't personally had it because of the surgery and i've had to make room for solid foods etc today we're going to do a little tasting of each for you guys let you know what we think if it's good, we're going to allow them to use a discount code with our name on it. If you spend £50 or more at Sea and Tails and use the code Chuff and Guff 10 well done. you get 10% off your order. So if you're spending 50 quid, that's already, fuck, a fiver. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? What are you? You're not Nando's anymore. You're Sea and Tails now. Fuck Nando's. They're millionaires already. Let's make Sea and Tails millionaires. Seas on that tails. subject, while well, Adam dishes up his thing, and then I can, can eat, I eat now because I am he's very he hungry. Can eat more than me. And I'm going to tell you that it's going to be fun for them to see how I much I can eat. I can't eat nothing, but we're not going to have dinner. We're just going to taste. He's why? What are you doing? I can't get this with glove on. Glove. Honestly, I can't get it on, so I'm just I'm not wasting no, time you have anymore. No, glove on because you can't touch no, 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 the no, computer. No, no, no. I'm going to tuck right in. I'm not. I shot. This is why I said to you. This is why I said to you. Six foot four. And well, now I'm 24 and a half stone. Like, what is this glove, bro? Does it look like I've got eight year old hands? Right, finally, are you ready? I don't really know if I want this glove on because it's suffocating the fingers. I'm just going raw, fuck it. I'll, I'll go raw, I'll go bareback on it. But basically just feed something. Let me just taste it. Is that mad what I just said? I'll go bareback on it. Bareback on it, that, it's not Melbourne. It's not the Berwick after 10 o'clock, bro. Uh, Basically, I just want this mac and cheese. Oh, I've got a cramp in my liver, in my lung there. And I'm very judgmental when it comes to mac and cheese. So just right, so you let know, me eat. I'm not going to gas this up because you're my bread What's in this? I'm going to be very truthful. So man, take the square. Oh, I cut this as well. Why, why do I get the veg? Huh? Why do I get the veg? You get this, I'm taking There's nothing wrong with the veg, by the way, but it's just, I want the meat, innit? That's in the big tray, you've got to take some out. Well, you've got all I over your like side. I feel like I'm Gordon Ramsay. What are you? An idiot sandwich. No, I need that. I've got the glove on my right hand, but I'm still eating with my left hand. You can't chew into the mic, that is fucking horrible. Oh mate, I'll tell you what. Take the tin. I'll tell you what, that carrot is a 10 out of 10. I tell you. You like that carrot? That is a very good carrot. Where'd you get your carrot from, G? That is magic. <laughs> Gashing up the carrot, right. Give me the fucking tail. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's got a whisker on it, cuz. <laughs> What is that? Oh, I don't know if I can eat that. But I'm, taking I'm not really a seafood lover, I'll be honest with you. 
Right. Well, they want to, they don't want to just see us scoffing our faces at the minute, all right? So can we just talk talk and eat? What is that? It's is some that sort it? of shark. Is that it? Yeah, you've got to dig deep into it. Yeah, but where's the meat, guys? Inside it. I'm scared. I can't touch that. That's why you need the glove. Basically, that's your thing. Right, basically, <laughs> let me go. Because I can't eat as much as Adam. I know it's banter, but the surgery fucks you. What's that you're eating at the job? At no, the I club. That's mad. Mm. Mm. Mate, that is very good. Do you know what? And I'm honestly not just saying that. That mac and cheese is very good. I'll eat the whole lot throughout the thing. All right. You need to eat some of the lobster because I don't know how to get into How that. do I get into the lobster? I've never ha I've had lobster once. We're poor. <coughs> Let me taste the potato because the potato sauce looks very good. Mm. You need to dip it in that tub apparently. Right, I've got one glove. Mate, I don't know how to tuck into this. Do you know what? I'm just What's that, eat. shrimp? I don't know, but is it a sea apparently you, you hold it up like this, isn't it? And then you snap its on. Oh, you broke its millard. And then you suck the titty. Oh, no, no, you don't suck it. That's all mad. It's leg. <laughs> so you pull that off. Sorry about this, guys. This is all mad up. I just want this mac and cheese. It's very good. This is what I'm saying about we should have done this before. Because now the, the, the people are just watching me open into a prawn. It's very good. Man, full. You think I'm joking? That is honestly how much I can eat throughout the day. Two mouthfuls. Very full. Mate, big man ting, that mac and cheese is 10 out of 10. That sauce and then potatoes, 10 out of 10. I'm truly What's that, Mark? that is absolutely banging. You like that? Mm. Very good for the soul. Chris would like that because he's a fish man. I'm not really a fish man, but that tastes banging. That sauce is good. You know Very well that? done, that one there. That mac and cheese though. Shout out to C's and Tails. Your thing is wicked. So good. Your thing is so, so wicked. It's mad. I'm what? licking my fingers and I'm not thinking about coronavirus or nothing. I don't care anymore. Nothing mental what you just said. I'm going ruthless on it. But now shout out to you guys. Absolutely that was well fantastic. Good, Use the code, get your discount and eat your fish. That is very good your fish. Your lobster. Wipe your hands, nasty child. <laughs> Thank you. Now, back to the show. Because that's that, the guff. That was a good old, good old feast there, a little nibble. I'm going to eat that throughout there. <sighs> you see how much pain I'm in? That is what I deal with every meal time. That was banging. Now. That mac and cheese. Fuck, is it mad if I keep eating? Nah, I won't eat that. Man, that was so nice. Yeah. I'm going that through lobster, a lot of that. That fish thing, I'm going to taste it after anyway. Yeah, but it's making my hands go all that fucking sweaty in that, do you know what I mean? I'm going to move on. Rip into if you're on other business, though, get in touch with us, innit? Because we love that freeness. That was free. Is that it? I literally don't have to Was that the transition? Food, I'm the... just going to move on. Hang on, we have a phone call. Can I answer it? Yeah, who is it? Chris. Hang on. Hello? Yo. Yo. Um, can you check your online bank for me, Adam? Yeah, I will in a minute. I'm just filming Chuffing Off right in the middle of the episode. And now Eating you're on the show. Cheese, and now you're on the show, and I'm seizing tails now. I'm fucking. Fucking try to check that still. Bring me some home, cuz. Okay, I'll bring you some home. Now come off my phone. <laughs> come off my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Basically, Move on. Well, what was that? You hear that noise? Back. Tough what rough. was that transition you've done? I'm going to move on now. Because I'm not going to sit there and just start to eat. We've spoke about it. It was I'm very, very it. good. Yeah, you keep eating. Let me talk. You go don't on talk. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, in, go on, in, go on, in, go on in. I need to read it off here. Basically, someone wrote in, instead of a scenario this week, one thing we have got is someone wrote in, and it doesn't have to be scenarios. They wrote in and, want, and asked us a question. So let me get it up. This is from somebody called Hannah. Anna. And Anna or Hannah? Anna, mm -hmm. she has put, I would like to hear your most embarrassing moments because you're both mad like halloumi cheese. You've just referred to me as a cheese. So for that comment, your dad. Oh my fucking God. Adam, what is your most embarrassing moment? Froth on. Honestly, it's like feeding the homeless when he comes to my house. Bless him. What? 
What is your most embarrassing moment? Can I eat my sea and teals? My sea and teals? My sea This ain't and fucking tails. Gordon Ramsay's F word, mate. It was very good food. Thanks for fucking coming. Speak <laughs> up. <laughs> My most embarrassing moment. So happy he's the only one that uses that mic because that stinks. I was, what is wrong with you? Very hygienic, mate. You know my thing. Go on, speak. Oh, because you're making me tweet now. Please, mate, because there's a fucking, some sort of dinosaur on the table in a metal tray covered in sauce and it's just fucking on the table. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> my most embarrassing moment is probably when I was, when I was younger. And um, honestly, this is the truth. I swear to God, that happened I, when I was younger. I'll find out. I'll just ring your mum. Right. And um, I was driving up the motorway for some reason. We stopped off for some food. Now, there's a nice McDonald's, the Golden Arches, right here. So we decide to stop, have some food, and oh, my stomach's hurting. Oh, God. Yeah, so, shit. So I've gone to the shitter. To go and shit. Gone shit. <laughs> gone shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone to gone shit. Yeah. Go on, go on, go on. And I thought I've locked the door. Mm. <laughs> right? How old are you at this point? I think I was about 14, 15. Yeah. And some woman presses the button, the door slides off in. <laughs> what, in the middle Fairly of the shop? It's petrified. <laughs> Inside McDonald's, everyone looking. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Even though I've not done nothing, she's the one that's opened the door. And she's gone, oh, oh, it stinks. Like, and made a massive scene out of it. And everyone's looked. looking at me on the shitter. And then she's pressed the button. I'm like, shut the door. She shut the door. Like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna smell like a Yankee candle, is it? That is fucking. <laughs> Why are you fucking? Ah! Ah, uh, no way. I swear to God, it's the trophy. It uh, it's, I've not heard that one before, and I know it a lot. Yeah, it haunts me to that day, to this day. How long did you leave it before you bust out? Like, it took you a must have good no, time. I don't know, I walked out and I was just red, went straight to the car, and I was like, I don't understand. Like, Luckily, it's I'm not a local place. No. No, it's crazy. But yeah, that... Cheers for that. Yeah, that one there. That was quite embarrassing. I really get embarrassed. That's like me, I'm trying to think of one now, because it's my turn. But that was mad. That's a good one that made me laugh. That did tickle me a little bit. All right, cool. It was probably about six, seven years ago. Just mm. as of just, probably I was just before I was friends with you. Maybe, did I know you when I used to go for Freak, Freak Bash? Mm. Basically, there's an outdoor day rave called Freak Bash. <laughs> and I don't think I've told anyone this story ever. Right. Apart from the missus. Actually, I don't think I was with Leggy. Right. I think I made a bonfire to cover up my mess. Right. Basically, I went to Freak Bash. Yeah. And you know me, I'm not really massive partier, raver. So I went there, I started day drinking. It was about one o'clock, I started to feel a bit pissed. Obviously, I'm at a day of rave. The people I'm with, everyone's like, go on, guns, go on, have a little pill. Go on, mate, have a little pill. You'll fucking... And I've never done them. Never done them. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Do you know what? I'm going to just... Peer pressure, don't control... Don't fucking fall to peer pressure like guns because I'm very... Inf I don't know what the word is. So I've took a pill right. in this day rave. All right. Best, honest to God, best three hours of my life. <laughs> the best thing you can ever do is a pill. <laughs> Don't give a fuck who says any different. When your jaw was swinging. I was just having a good time. And then someone sprinkled something in my drink. And then I did another pill. And then I got to a place in my brain where I was at this rave all by myself right. in space. Right. And I was having the best time of my life. Right. Honestly. Right. And then my belly started to rumble. Right. But I'm stumbling. I'm fucked. I can't really walk straight. So I've got over to the port cabin. I've gone for a poo. What I thought was a normal poo. I've sensed that I've exploded on this portaloo. <laughs> and bro, I literally had shit all on my jeans, all on my t-shirt at the back. And there's nothing I could do. There's, like, this toilet was grim. It's had bare pillar, there's shit on the sides gear, tampon, like it was the nastiest toilet ever. Right. So I've come out of the portal and I've just bust straight to the exit. Even though I'm fucked, but I know in my head like guns, you can't be in public like this, like you're a big man. So I've slipped to the exit, jumped in a taxi, had to give the taxi driver 150 quid because as I got out of the cab, he said there's shit on his seat. 
And I've just gone home and I think, I, honestly, no banner, burnt my clothes. So I don't know if anyone clocked it that day. If you clocked it, don't ever say a word because it will get very political between us. But that is probably the most that embarrassing thing. That is mad. Why is it always Mate, but this got is why to I love do shit? Because I've never told you that. Why no has it got to be? Why, what's it got to? Why How is that is not it? embarrassing? I've shit myself. I'm 26, <laughs> yeah, what you 25 do? at the time. Well, you don't shit yourself. No, I don't shit myself. <laughs> I do. I'm popping down the town centre. Like, yeah, I need to go. Just shit yourself, mate. It's cool. No, it was a fucking very embarrassing day. It was peak for me, honestly. Mate, think about it. I just ate seas and tails like a hyena. Because it's good. And then just started very sucking good. my fingers and then running my hair. And that, like, you got me thinking outside the box now. Yeah, because you're very unhygienic. I'm very hygienic. No, you're very good at cleaning. Yeah, very good at cleaning. And I'm very hygienic. Basically, that there isn't a second non. scenario. There is another shout out for the show. And it comes from the one and only massive mini Tron, Christopher Dixon. He proceeded... The fucking absolute waste, man. On last episode. Absolute state of this table now. He ripped, just so you guys at Chuff and Guff are aware, and this is exactly how he spelled it, the cocky fat mess. Technically, rain does go up, Adam. It evaporates from the surface back up into the atmosphere. Research the water cycle. There is more brains in a can of John West tuna than there is on this show. Mm-hmm. That is what my best friend and your brother had to say. John West Tuna, yeah? He's trying to say that there's fish out there. Water or oil? Both. Now. What do we say to my man, the mini Tron? What I'm going to say is, rain does not go up. <laughs> rain comes down. It does not go up. It doesn't the water down evaporates. Rain, Chris. If you look at my window, I don't think, oh my God, it's raining up. <laughs> It's raining up. Uh, <laughs> no. So that John West tuna brain. For that comment there, I would actually cuss probably your mum, your dad, but I love your mum and I'm scared of her. And your dad's actually well all right. So my response to the tuna brain comment is stay off the steroids, Christopher. They're not helping. I found they found loads of them in, in his room the other day. He said to me the other day he found them in his top drawer. Yeah, steroids. Um, he's going to tweak. <laughs> he's going to tweak at that one. Is that mad? Also, oh, right, right, right. We, we had an idea sent in last night for the show, but we didn't just want to slap it on this week's episode. We wanted to get you guys involved and you guys to, oh fuck, for you guys to hopefully message us and give us some questions. Someone suggested that me and Adam play on the show Have You Ever Tobacco Edition? i.e. have you ever eaten from sea and tails me and adam would then take a lug because we both eaten from sea and tails right and this is very before good. we go any further i this game is so simple right but my brain makes it so hard to process so i might get the game rules wrong but it's we'll not go for next week it when it comes with it okay so we think it's a very good suggestion over here so we'd like you guys throughout this week just to message it takes 10 minutes not even that three minutes to message in one question that you'd like to know if me and adam have ever done to an extent. One question, multiple questions. Yeah, send multiple, multiple if you want. Questions. But obviously I'm saying if multiple people will, if you, mm -hmm. if, if 20 of you write in, we'll do it. The writings have started to slow down and it breaks my heart because we just want to take the piss. You, we are the forever burning fire. We are the Olympic torch. You need to fuel us, splash us in diesel. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, but I want to play that game. So I want them guys to write you in. You want to play that. Write in, stop being shy. Just literally <coughs> get your phone, Type the fucking letters to make the sentence and enter it. Send it to us. We will see it. We will think of mad stuff. All you have to do at the end it. is put anonymous and we'll just leave your name out. Put anonymous. And if Thank you to Hannah though this week because she did get on to us. Yeah, well um, done. Well, well done, done, Hannah. Hannah. Well done. Basically, she, she, I'm giving her a t-shirt. Mate, this t-shirt's taking... It's not our fault, guys, honestly. You can have a t-shirt. Come on, t-shirt. them is taking the piss and all we keep getting in an email is coronavirus update. The t-shirts are coming. We're very sorry. It's not our fault. Talking about t-shirts. Talking about games. Let's play the game. Because the loser is going to eat a scotch bonnet from a yard and thing and cook and vibe and thing. Live now. Now, right now. Right now. The loser the of the general knowledge. The world's hottest. Is it the world's hottest? I don't think you can say that. It's not. A, a scotch bonnet. A scotch hot. bonnet. Okay, well, maybe not the world's hottest, but it's very hot on the tongue. <laughs> yeah, the tongue is going to fucking vibrate and I'm petrified because I've just had surgery. Is that a good experience? We're not going to be able to talk for that, actually, no. That's why we're doing it now. Because because if we both done it, if minutes. we both done it, then I'm not we won't be able to talk to each other. 
We just have you don't to talk anyway. I get I talk too much. For our tongue. Like fucking. Oh, oh. That is mad. What is Boris Johnson's age? It's making me tweak. 53? 56. Tie, 1 0, guns. What mm. is the largest desert in the world? Sahara. Incorrect. It's the Antarctic Desert. 2 0 to guns. Well, I don't know. What number is Mr. Liverpool's Fabinho? I know this, mate. It's making me tweak. I know what you're doing today. Very good. Go on. Number three. That's three nil to guns. He's going to eat the fucking chilli. I was shitting myself because I've got very bad right. stomach. Well, go One on. more question. Go on. What does VW stand for in car terms? Volkswagen. Very correct. So Adam got one question out of four. Now. I was saying one nil guns, two nil guns. I was doing it wrong. Now. My turn. So you've, I've only got My to get turn. one right to take it to the tiebreaker. You've only won one. Okay. I've only got to get so. one right because you only got one right, bro. Okay. Froth on, Question froth on. number one. I'm going to make a t-shirt saying froth on. Go on. I want one saying, is that mad? That's mad. Right, anyways, question number one. Which animal mm. has the most mentions mm. in the Bible? Which animal has the most mentions in the Bible? Well, you've read the Bible like six times, haven't you? Fuck off. What animal's in there? I'm going to say dove. A dove? No. What is it? It's a sheep. Ah, uh, probably, yeah. Think about it, the Bible, there's sheep everywhere. Ah, fuck's sake. All right, cool. All right. Go on. Fuck. I need one. Just How one. many teeth should an adult human have? Depends where they're from. What if they're from Melbourne? What happens if your name is Sparks? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry, Sparks, bad, if you want to. That is fucking bad. Um, 24. <laughs> How many? 32. 32 teeth? I ain't got 32 teeth. So, both wrong. Question number okay. three. Yeah. Fuck. What is a xylophone made from? Metal. Oh my god. It's What's made of wood. Is it? A xylophone. <laughs> you know. Now, is that a fact before I get bumped? Because even Ty's face is a bit screwed you up. Don't there. even know what a xylophone Ty, is. Ty, can you double check that's a fact, please? What's a xylophone, Dan? What's a xylophone? It's a thing that goes. Dun, 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 dun. It's a thing that where you get the, the, the sticks and it's metal sticks. and it makes a noise. It's made of wood. Ty, check it. Uh, but you just made me think there, hang on, because that could be metal as well. Because I remember when I was at school, I used to play, um, what's it called? EastEnders. Yeah, on the metal Do you know who's very good at the piano? James O'Malley. Very, very good, good at the piano. Shout out James O'Malley. James O'Malley, very good. My man, um, the Cash blind you guy. Cash you up. You're not listening, though. Is he right? He's not right. Ty, it's definitely what's it made, made of, of wood, bro. Ty, what's it made of? Metal. Ty, don't fuck Ty, what's me. it made of? Brass. So we were both wrong. So it's a, it's a point and to brass. me. It's a point to me. It's a saxophone. It's a xylophone. All oh, right. Oh, Next well. question. Wait, no, because I need to make sure well, I'm right. You're not bummed. Come back to it. Come back to it. Go on. Question number four. What is the biggest state in America? Use your own. Take a minute. Think of the map in your head. Florida. No. Who? Alaska. Ah, oh, fuck. What's that made of? So like? basically, you've got all of them wrong. Huh? Made of wood. Made of wood. <laughs> oh, that is fucking Pete. Looks bro. like you have to eat a scot. I tell you what. I tell you what. I'll do it with you. How about that? Can't you do it for me? Cause my belly. I'm definitely not gonna do. It. I tell you what. I'll do it for you. But the next time you lose, right? Yeah. Or the next time you win, you've got. I've got to let you off. Yes. But uh, I get to pick the most brutal thing. Okay. Yeah, please, mate. I would do it, but I was so No, but I mean, confident. honestly, because that's a Scotch bonnet I'm it's about to It's on tape. Honestly, I can't do my belly, mate. It'd fuck my surgery, honestly. Right, let's my go. My stitches then. might right, come Where out. is it? Ty, grab it out the fridge, please. Cameraman. No. Scotch bonnet. <laughs> One Scotch bonnet, please. <laughs> 
And a glass of water. <laughs> no, you, need, you got milk. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. Just bite the top. Don't eat the seeds. I think the seeds are poisonous. That's looking very hot. Yeah, just eat <laughs> it. Show red. the camera, G. Eat it up. Can you see that? Zoom in on that team there. Come on, because we've been frothing. I love a froth. <sighs> That's a lot, mate. Well, you said you have heard of the Oh, fucking hell. Is that a Scottish point? I don't know, is it not hot? <laughs> is it hot? I got it from the fruit and veg man and he said it's the mad thing. I've got to get up, bro. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Wait, how does it feel? How do you feel right now? I can't talk, bro. <laughs> Vibration, vibration. I need to try. Please don't spit. That is mad. I've got to get off. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you very much. Just love. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Peace. Oh. Cut. I stop your mic. Stop your mic. Stop your mic. Thanks. Oh. Turn the cameras off. Cause... No, no, that big man thing. Yeah.